Let's talk about those expansion uh, rumors and thoughts. And it's not really a rumor, I guess, at this point. Uh, but Dennis Dodd at CBS and Brett McMurphy of the Action Network both reported on potential Pac-12 expansion. McMurphy tweeted, Pac-12 Commissioner George Klyovkov is visiting SMU on Wednesday. That was yesterday. Uh, sources told the Action Network. Uh, San Diego State and SMU are top Pac-12 expansion candidates. The Pac-12 needs more members and more inventory for new media rights deal, which is expected to rely heavily on digital streaming services. Now, this is something that we talked about on the show just a couple of weeks ago. San Diego State and SMU are both nearing R1 status as academic uh, institutions, which would absolutely um, curry some favor with the Pac-12 presidents. But also, their market sizes... Uh, as adding San Diego and Dallas is going to help with the recruiting, with television households, and more, right? Now, per John Canzano, uh, he said adding San Diego State would get the Pac-12 back into Southern California and regain 1.13 million television households. Adding SMU would bring the Dallas TV market with it. That's 2.96 million TV homes. Uh, SMU plus San Diego State equals 4.1 million combined TV households, which is going to be attractive to media partners, but... After the dust settles, the Pac-12 would still have 2.6 million fewer television homes than it did before the departures of USC and UCLA. Now, Klyovkov did visit U uh, SMU yesterday, uh, and he, along with the other Pac-12 reps and SMU reps, were spotted at SMU basketball's 72-71 to win over Temple. Uh, there's been no news out of that. SMU won't talk about it. Uh, nobody's, nobody's talking. But the fact that it was done so publicly is very interesting because you don't normally see that kind of thing, right? So, uh, Dennis Dodd's article at CBSSports.com is headlined, Pac-12 expansion with San Diego State SMU may be necessary before the league inks new media rights deal. Now, this is not exactly news. Uh, did the Pac-12 presidents want to stay at 10 schools? Probably. Uh, almost certainly. Was it ever a realistic possibility with a new media rights deal being negotiated uh, and the conference being the last to the market? Probably not. Not really. Uh, there aren't a lot of big potential games left on the calendar, and the time slots on linear television are, for the most part, already taken up. Without USC and UCLA, the number of must-watch games has dropped significantly. Uh, add in the reality that other lucrative properties are coming available, right? right? You got UFC coming up, you got NASCAR, uh, the NBA, WWE. This is just a recipe for disaster for this conference. Now, in Dodd's article, he states... Uh, significantly more than half of each season's Pac-12 football games will be primarily available via streaming as part of the conference's next rights deal, sources tell CBS Sports. Such a ratio is unprecedented for a Power 5 conference and for whichever streaming giant becomes the first to more fully embrace college sports. Now, the move would likely upset Pac-12 coaches, athletic directors, and administrators who rely on widespread visibility for their games via linear and network platforms for everything from... Uh, athletic recruitment to university enrollment. So basically, the Pac-12 may have been left with no other choice. And keeping a presence in Southern California, along with the biggest metro, uh, excuse me, the biggest metro area still available, Dallas, uh, those were the two best options, you know, still on the table. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.